All right, how's it going? I am some random chili head, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Green Monster by Inferno Farms. So another Inferno Farms review, and as far as my <clears throat> initial impressions go with this sauce, it's definitely not super spicy. Uh, it has it has a good <clears throat> a good kick to it, and um, let's see. Uh, it, it's somewhat thick, but it pours very, very, uh, very, very well. And I was trying to think of what I could pair with this sauce, but I, I just had such a difficult time trying to find the best thing possible because, um, you know, when I did my uh, grocery shopping earlier today, I completely forgot. I, it's like I completely forgot that I was doing, uh, uh, you know, hot sauce reviews for a day and I wasn't thinking about getting, you know, some tortillas and, uh, like ground beef in this case, impossible ground beef to make, uh, to make tacos with or burritos. But, uh, I promise in the future <clears throat> there will be more thoughtful pairings to go. And yeah, let's just get a quick, quick, uh, whiff of the aroma and okay. So it's very, um, just, how should I say it? It, it has a, a smell that uh, of like a, a of a traditional like uh, verde sauce. That's essentially what it, what it smells like. It's uh, it's tomatillo based. Uh, it has a very very pleasant aroma. You know, and you, initially as you smell it, you get like a, a slight whiff of capsaicin, um, and uh, and a very very pleasant uh, smell of tomatillos because it, it is a tomatillo based sauce. So yeah. Let's go through the ingredients. We have roasted tomatillo, fresh lime juice, serrano pepper, distilled white vinegar, sweet onion, water, garlic, cilantro, sea salt, avocado oil, and xanthan gum. So, and in this case, uh, it, it's just a perfectly thick sauce. I, I wonder what it would have looked like if they didn't add the xanthan gum to it, because... It's, it's like the perfect body consistency right now, but, uh, you know, obviously talk is cheap. Let's get to pouring it. You know what I'm talking about? It's a good shake. And yeah. Do it. Yeah. A bit slow on the initial pour. But it comes out very nice. It's just a, just a tad chunky, but it's uh, pours very smoothly. Um, as far as aroma goes, I would give it ten out of ten. Very fresh and 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 elegant. And as far as pour goes, I would give it a uh, nine out of ten because it's just a little bit chunky. But uh, yeah, let's go for a taste. Mm. Initially, the two things I taste are lime juice, lime juice number one, then the tomatillo, then the serrano pepper, and a little bit of, of, of uh, garlic. Those are the main things that I taste. And, yeah, uh, for how low the uh the scoville has to be for the sauce um it has a surprisingly good throat hit you feel it a little bit on your tongue um as far as my heat scale goes i would sit between a two and a three out of ten so it's 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 got very good heat uh very good flavor and yeah i i would highly uh recommend picking up this this uh this amazing hot sauce <laughs> uh i don't know if i would say that it's the uh the best uh hot sauce that i've come across from inferno farms but it's very 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 good and if you're not really into spicy food but you're willing to give it a try uh i think you'd be very happy with this purchase it's it, it's really really cheap uh they had a sale going today at my local Rayleigh's where it um, was going for like 6.99 and online, it's $7.99. So for price point, it's, uh, it's a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, 
texture, even though the pourability isn't perfect, it's so uh, full bodied um, without being, you know, so chunky to the point where you have issues, real, any real issues pouring it. And the design for pouring it is perfect. It's a very open pour sauce. <clears throat> so considering the design, I would give the texture uh, 10 out of 10 as well. And flavor, how would I rate the flavor? Well, it's going to depend a lot on what you pour it with. Um, you know, anything that's got a, a, a notable citrusy taste um, with, uh, with, a, with, in this case, a body of, of tomatillo, I think would pair very well with uh, like poultry or in my case poultry substitutes they highly recommend uh, like tacos and eggs so in my case I would probably go with an egg substitute but uh, yeah that's a totally separate note um, yeah I will leave a link in the description where you can uh, pick up this hot sauce it's on their website uh, Inferno Farms and yeah I, I think that's the bulk of the video um, actually they have some interesting information about this I would like to read because I, I want to see how it compares to, uh, to my impression of the sauce. So it says, this spine chilling blend of fresh ingredients is monstrous in flavor with only a shadow of heat, a hair raising experience when paired with most foods. The green monster will exhilarate your taste buds and send anything bland screaming to the hills. So screaming with flavor. Yes. Uh, screaming with heat, not so much. It, it, it's not super, super spicy, but I actually would mostly agree with what they say. And obviously you need, you know, good extensive vocabulary to really help uh, market a product. So yeah, I think that'll be the video. Sorry for not bringing any food to pair it with. I was uh, a, bit, uh, a bit overrun today. But uh, in the future, I plan to have more pairings available. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future uploads. So yeah, I gotta take another taste of this. This is so good. So, so good. Let me take one, one last taste. One last taste of this beauty. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. That'll be the video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, have a great day, great time of year. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.